In the rectangular solid above, three sides shown have an area of 12, 15, and 20 respectively. What is the volume of the solid? So suppose we have a certain height, width, and depth. And of course, we know that volume equals height times width times depth. And let's just say that the front is the area 12, so that's height times width equals 12. The side, we'll say, is 15, so that is h times d. And the top, we'll say, is 20, so that's width times that. That actually doesn't matter which side is which. So one thing we could do is try and find three integers that satisfy these equations. In fact, that's not hard to do in this case, but it may be on the GMAT that you'll get this problem and that the numbers aren't, in fact, integers. But here's something that you can always use. Notice that if we just multiply these three, so h times w times h times d times w times d, well, that equals 12 times 15 times 20. Well, 12 times 15, what well, that is, is 180 times 20. What well, that is, is 3,600. Meanwhile, here, what we get is h squared, w squared, d squared. And notice what that is. That's just volume squared. You multiply the, the surface area of the three different faces, what you get is the volume squared. That's an amazing trick to know. Now all we have to do is take a square root, and of course the square root of 3600 is 60. And that is the volume, answer choice A.